So there you go, the pregame festivities. The North Iowa Bulls public address announcer made his way on up here to announce North Iowa. And, of course, the Northern Lights introductions provided by the public address, which has been fantastic here at the rec center throughout the tournament. We're closer to dropping the puck on this national championship game. Let's talk about the North Iowa Bulls. We kind of highlighted the Northern Lights. North Iowa comes in 51-4-1-2 for the NA3HL. In their first game, they won 5-2 against New Hampshire. 7 to nothing against Bellingham. Then they beat Twin Cities 5-1. to one, And then a 3-2 to two double overtime victory over the Helena Bighorns in a classic in the crossover semifinal. Jake Johnson scores the game winner 16-05 into double overtime from Jimmy Hughes. And that's what sets the stage for today. They're led in goals by Pat Sivitz with five goals, one assist, six points. Jimmy Hughes, three goals, three assists, six points. It'll be Matt Peterskowski, one of the leaders for the Northern Lights with three goals and three assists, and we're set to drop the puck here. As we meet at the center circle, the North Iowa Bulls in their dark road jerseys, the red with the blue breezers, and in white, it's the Northern Lights as we are underway. Puck dumped in by Twin Cities for a quick icing call. Faceoff going to come back, works it back to the point. Langfield, one-timer Kruger, he whiffs as well, and that will take care of the North Iowa power play. Good kill there. Looks like a stick got yep. up in Fredrickson's face as Richie Marinas went mm -hmm. down to his knees as well. High sticking going to be called right as the Bulls' power play expires. They'll go now to the penalty kill with 13.58 left here in the first period. No score. Yeah, and I think right there just kind of coincidental contact. Both teams going for the puck, and Marinas just raising the stick and, and catching right in the eye right there, the North uh, Iowa defender on the back of the net. And like you said, Rick, now the Northern Lights are going to be going on the power play here. Jaden comes out in the corner to hold the puck up for Regnard. 136 left on the power play. Almost turned it over there. Cross ice pass on the tape. Here comes Kulikov across the line. He's got his center cutting tip. Deflect in front by Blankenship. Shot the goal! Oh, looky! The Northern Lights able to pop it in on a rebound. And it's Hayes with his third goal of the tournament. His sixth point. A power play goal, one up the Northern Lights. Yeah, trickling puck right out in front, Rick, and you got to give Bartles credit. He tried to grab it, but even better offensive awareness, number 21, Zach Hayes, puts it top shelf, and the banana chips are on the floor. Sent down by Halama. Regnard will pick it up here for Twin Cities. Trouble behind the net there for Regnard. Poked away by Timmy Santapalo. Santapalo looking to center. Knocked away. Shot the goal in front. And right there was Eric Barron. Santa Paula will pick up the assist. And the North Isle Bulls have even this one up in the Tier 3 National Championship game with 119 left in the first 1-1. One, one. Yeah, Santa Paula right there. Nice little turn 360 pass right up top. Barron had trouble with it, but then cracked it in with the back of the stick. We're tied up 1-1 one one here. And this crowd is loving it here. A lot of North Iowa fans. I hear a lot of bells. Man, I thought I just heard that at work. I'm hearing it here in this arena, Rick. It's crazy. Hey, a big hit by Fosdick. That one set cross crease. Might have grazed Bartles. Picked up behind the back by Sivitz. Sivitz, he'll put it towards the net. Save. Oh, poke through. They blew the whistle. Right as the Bulls were charging towards the net to try to poke it through Jaden's pads. And I'm not sure why the whistle came so quickly. But now it's going to be a penalty on North Iowa and Twin Cities. That must be what they did. They called a penalty right there, stopping the play as the Bulls were coming into the zone, Scotty. Yeah, Zach Johnson had a trip down here on this end, Rick, as the Bulls were starting to get out in transition. And uh, then on the back end, looks like we're going to have maybe a goaltender interference of some sort, Rick. I couldn't see. Teague up to Kulikov. Kulikov with speed, right wing. Fosdick on him. Sent back behind the net. Fosdick left it for Langfield. No, he'll pick it right back up on the other side. His pass is stopped, but Crosco will pick it up. Then he has his legs taken out. That's going to be a tripping call on the Northern Lights and a power play for the North Iowa Bulls. Yeah, Zach Johnson going back to the box again. Another tripping call on 25 and right out in open ice for everybody to see. That one doesn't get missed very often, Rick. Nope, we saw that one right away. So North Iowa, second power play of the period. They were not able to get it past the netminder, Isaac Jaden on their first to start the period. 
Sivitz finally with a shot on net. There's a stiff Sivitz goal! His sixth of the tournament leading all scorers, and it's two to one. North Iowa, the snipe to the near post. Yeah, Jaden right there has kind of looked a little bit of out of position in this period, Rick, but you couldn't stop that one. There was no way that Simmons was going to miss that one. Great setup right out in front for North Iowa as Kroska put that cross crease right in the center. Simmons found it home. Fostick will dump it back down. Back to pick up a stick is Shan finally. Knocked with a shoulder there. Murphy, they try stumbling it in for a post. It trickles in. Jonas and scores. 3-1 North Iowa. Jaden was caught out of the net. And the Bulls and their faithful here at the rec center celebrate a 3-1 lead. Yeah, we talked about it. And uh, Jaden uh, out of position. He has been a couple times in this period. But this is the first time North Iowa has been able to capitalize right there. And man, Jonathan right there just picking up an opportunity, lighting the lamp, and it's 3-1 to one with 3.56 left in the second. Hayes trying to find it. Picked up by Schofield to... Backhand shot there on the rebound! And it's 3-2! The Northern Lights picked it up. Fredrickson's shot was knocked in by Hayes. He sends it past Bartles, and the Northern Lights are not turned off yet. 3-2, 6.47 left here in the third. And for the most part, North Iowa's defense has been really impressive right there, though all those bodies congested in front of Bartles. Hayes putting in his second of the game. Man, he's put, he's taking it home more than two tickets to paradise on a bad karaoke night. <laughs> Puck winged around from behind the net. Picked up by Fredrickson. Sends it to the center circle. Off the wall by Shan. Peter Skowski crossed the line. Northern Lights on that save, Bartles, rebound, backhand, blocked by the Bulls. And here's a chance for a breakaway. Jimmy Hughes, he cuts in from the right side, goes to the ball, and shoots and scores! Jimmy Hughes. 307 left here in regulation, and the Bulls have a two-goal lead. Jimmy Hughes taking that outlet pass and double deacon, double dip, and Baskin Robbins to the house, light the lamp. What a move by Jimmy Hughes. 307 left here. Bulls trail in shots 38 37, but have the lead by two on the scoreboard. Wow. That's a big goal right there. And the Bulls win the draw. Here's Kroska across the line. Sometimes when the Bulls start to smell victory, they turn it up an extra notch. And in front, Marina shoots and scores. And just as I'm saying it, they're doing it. The North Iowa Bulls have now stuck in the proverbial dagger. That was a big mistake by the defense of the Northern Lights. And a power outage is about to happen here in Rochester. Barron wanted to put it towards the net, which is wide open right now with the extra attacker. Cross ice. Off the wall, Fredrickson. Bowles send it towards the net. There's another one. Six to two. And for those of you that never think it's over till it's over, it's over. They have put together a great franchise that got here by getting it done against the Dells Ducks and Wisconsin Rampage. And a well-deserved trip here to this national final game. But the end of the road has come and the clock ticks down and the North Iowa Bulls are the tier three USA Hockey National Champions and they mob each other in celebration Todd Sandin and his staff with an outstanding job. Assistant coaches Tim Olson and Mark Hicks, kudos to you as well. As the Bulls' ride has now culminated with a national championship. You don't get to live through too many of those. I've never lived through one outside of talking about other people. <laughs> Maybe on a video game, but that's pretty much it. But... You know, Rick, in, in the reality aspect of this, I mean, this North Iowa team all season has been a juggernaut, 
in their particular league. A lot of these teams were. I think it was the grit, determination. You got a lot of smart players on this team, too, that have had experience in higher leagues that all came together and did a fantastic job with some good tutelage and some really good goaltending today by Matthew Bartles. Hey, Mason City, your Bulls are bringing home a national championship. Don't tear down the lockers. <laughs> Leave them there. <laughs> oh, my. What a great ride for the NA3HL as the North Iowa Bulls claim the title after their fierce rivalry with Granite City. They were able to get through the playoffs, knock off the Mustangs 11 to nothing, get a ride here, and go through undefeated. Yeah, and, and they were fantastic, Rick. I tell you, in that game last night, uh, just culminated everything. You had to wonder what the fatigue level would be for this Bulls team. But, you know, uh, you and I were talking about it on the way to the car here today in Rochester. We had a feeling that this could happen just because of the fact of how well coached they are and just how they disciplined themselves. They didn't let it get to them today. They put it out of their mind, and they just played hockey. And, and in the end, that's all that matters. For Eric Barron, a 92 from Wanakee, last game played. Connor Langfield, 92 from Rosemount, Minnesota, his last game. Pat Sibbets, the tournament's leading goal scorer, a 92 from Medina, Minnesota, his final game in junior hockey. Bobby Chapman from Holt, Michigan, his final game. Jimmy Hughes from Circle Pines, his final game. Also, Brian Broders, of course, uh, from Egan, Minnesota, and for Matt Bartles from Ontario, California. Their 92s, junior hockey comes to an end, maybe college hockey next. Best of luck to those guys. Congratulations to the North Iowa Bulls, who are your 2013 Tier 3 USA Hockey National Champions.